What's up, wrestling fans? So Brandy Rhodes is not a fan of the tattoo of Cody Rhodes. I'm going to play the audio in a second. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks to everybody who reached out to me last night. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to make a big deal. Whatever. I'm okay. I, it seems like I had some kind of panic, anxiety attack or something like that. Or A lot of suggestions by a lot of you guys, so I appreciate that. Sorry the review wasn't that great. But today I put up my um, my thoughts on the tag team match only, and that was a video that I, I spent 20-something minutes talking about key points and the uh, podcast honestly gets better the longer you listen to it as it goes on. So I hope you guys listen to that in full. Very important, and it will pop up at the end of this video. But yes, not happy about the tattoo is uh, Brandy Rhodes. Um, a lot of people weighed in on this. I made a video only because, God, I got so many messages. Did you see the tattoo? It's like, no, I missed the tattoo. I missed the giant red, white, and blue nightmare family tattoo on the guy's neck. I mean, I mean, we are really trying to get on uh, Corey Graves' level here. I mean, I, I don't know. But no, man, it's cool, you know, uh, the Cody to do something like this. Um, very symbolic, very cool, I guess. I'm not a fan of, um, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't have done it. Um, but I, he's got a, you know, he's felt like you want to get a tattoo like that. Uh, cool. You know, it is a little crazy. Get one up there, uh, top of your neck, almost in your cheek. Uh, could have done a face tattoo. I guess that could have been crazier. Um, I, I I almost didn't, you know, didn't really feel like Cody was the type of guy that would get a big tattoo like this on his neck. But, uh, hey, he did it. <laughs> I'm surprised, uh, to be honest. But, um, yeah, you guys asked me about what I thought about it. And all I can say is, I don't know, it's, it's his body. I, I'm surprised he did it. But in many years, we could be talking about how how cool it is or how iconic it is or wouldn't couldn't picture him without it type of thing you know i don't know it's gonna make those suits look a lot funnier um yeah i'm a little shocked he did it to be honest i am but uh again it's, he can do whatever he wants with his body you know what i mean go for it i am i'm just surprised that he did this <laughs> a lot of people kept asking me what i think about it i mean uh yeah it's basically what i think i'm surprised he did it it looks all right to me um so it's just jar it's jarring for people when they're not used to seeing somebody with something like that. So that's what it is. I am surprised that he got it more more so than surprised that his wife wasn't like, uh, no, you're not doing that. But um, yeah, you got to give it to her. She let him do whatever he wanted to do, and uh, there you go. But uh, here's her comments on it. By the way, uh, thank you to uh, Wrestling Inc. Wrestling Inc. dot com with some of the audio here, and uh, buddy over there, Raj Jiri. Uh, thank you very much to them. For reporting on this and, and uh, getting the audio a lot of people just kind of talk about it and whatever but the reason why everybody heard it was because of the press conference and i uh, thank uh, wrestling inc for getting the audio here we're together this is a family i'm pretty pissed off family. about the mjf stuff to be honest with you uh, i'm pretty pissed off about it because i sat and waited since summer i was the one person and i'm always the one person i'm, I'm also the one person that doesn't like the neck tattoo i she brought that up out of nowhere, too, by the way. She's talking about the MJF stuff, and then she brings the neck tattoo up. So she really does not, is not happy with this. Um, and she's not the one person, by the way. In the audio, she says, I'm the one person that doesn't like this. No, you're not. There's about, like, half of the internet hates this. Ha some of the internet hates this. Some of the internet loves it. Some of the internet is like, it's his bot. Who cares? Like, so there's those three statements. But you're certainly not the only person that hates it. Because there's a lot of people that were messaging me constantly like, oh, my God, what did he do? Oh, And I'm like, I, I don't know. He got a tattoo. I don't know. It is surprising to me, but you're right. I don't know. People love to do gossip and outrage about stuff, and this is just not one of those things where there's nothing really uh, that wrong with it, but you'd think there was something wrong with it if you read uh, Twitter. You know what I mean? Just because everybody wants something to talk about. I get it. You know what I mean? I do it, too. I'm guilty of it as well. You know? No doubt. One person, and I'm always the one person. I'm, I'm also the one person that doesn't like the neck tattoo. I don't like it. Um, I, I've, I've said it. There it is. But uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't. I don't can like it. Can I get it. a tattoo that says Brandy right here? You can do whatever that you can do whatever the hell you want. It's your body. QT it's the same thing I told my husband. But um, I, I feel like MJF. <clears throat> yeah. So um, not a fan is Brandy Rhodes of the tattoo. Great show last night though at AEW. Uh, Revolution, it was very good. And I uh, hear some videos popping up of my predictions and other things that happened yesterday. But most importantly, what's popping up for you right now is my review of the tag team match. And towards the end of this, I give some more opinions on the overall pay-per-view. 
Uh, if you haven't heard this, you really need to listen to this. It's a 20-something minute podcast I just did earlier today on my phone, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's um, I said a lot of key things in this that you, you definitely want to hear. If you, especially if you didn't really get anything out of my review last night since I was having the anxiety attack or whatever the hell was wrong with me. All right, there it is. I'll see you guys later. Also, remember, Patreon, Corrupted Podcast is coming to Patreon today, so make sure you re-up your Patreon. Everybody got charged today, so you may have to look and re-up on Patreon, guys. Uh, check that out as well. The Patreon army is uh, going to be hot and heavy tonight. <laughs>